Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good some other time of the day to you, wherever you may be. Uh, I just decided to quickly record a little uh, video lesson, on, not on um, slow roasted duck with crispy skin, which I don't know why I have that on the way. I know exactly why I have that on the screen, because tomorrow is Thanksgiving over here in the USA. And that's what I'm making, a slow roasted duck with crispy skin. In fact, I'm making two. I'm going to make one with cherry and orange and another one maybe a bit spicy. I'm not too sure. And then the other. But what, why am I talking about Thanksgiving? Why are we here? We are here because I just stumbled across this little uh, website here, iSeries RPG LE on WordPress, that purports to have an RPG-free template for subfile programs. And I was looking through it, and yeah, it's kind of uh, just a pretty standard subfile program with an error message subfile on the bottom. I love error message subfile handling. It's much nicer than turning indicators on and off for error messages. Uh, it looks really simple with a few fields on it. And then it has um, a copy book for the programs to put in that seems to be then uh, defining all of the screen ID details so they can pick up various things from the display file. Um, having some constants for command keys or function keys. I don't really like that, but it's an old way of doing it that's perfectly valid. Um, and some other guff in here that is not free format. This is column-based RPG um, 400 or RPG LE. And then we have some prime RPG 4-ish for the free format. Um, this is partially column-based for all of the top specs and then switches into free. So I thought I would just play with that one and uh, maybe uplift it and record a lesson for it. Um, I guess the first thing for me to do is to take all of this code, copy and paste it onto good old pub 400, compile it and see if it works. Uh, I can see an immediate gaff in that uh, they are declaring the display file and we've got the DDS for that just above and then declaring the actual data file that's being read called uh, prime file. Obviously, this is destined to be replaced as an example, but there's no source here for that prime file that I can see. Uh, let's play with it anyway. I'll probably put this lesson into the learning RPG um, course that I've got. It's a good example for freshers if you're a, a newbie at RPG, or if you just want to look at some other techniques for creating subfile programs, or indeed if you want to learn about using uh, error message subfiles. Um, and how to use error message subfiles, they're great. Rather than turn, essentially, rather than turning an indicator on or off, you call an API which sends a message to the subfile, removes it, clears it, does whatever. And the nice thing, of course, is you can validate a screen and have multiple errors coming up, and you can send each of those errors to the message subfile. So when the user is printing it, uh, blah, blah, when the user is entering the screen, press enter, they can have multiple error messages that they can scroll through using their uh, page up and page down key. Pretty cool function. So I'll stop recording here. I'll um, fire up a Pub 400 session. Uh, I'll have a quick look through the RPG and try and figure out what the DDS should look like. So I'll create some uh, faked DDS, compile it, and see how it runs. And then maybe after that, I'll go through the code, convert it all to proper RPG 4, free format, fully free, modern ILE RPG, um, and show you how to do that as well. Should be fun. Uh, this is how I spend my lunch breaks when I'm working remote during the Rona. So let me pause here, make this the introduction, and you can dive into the lessons below. I'll try and keep them to 5-10 minutes. I'm not very good at that, but uh, we'll see. All right, um, make yourself a cup of tea, sit at your keyboard, and uh, follow along with me, and let's try and do the same thing together. Okay.